So we just recently finished up the lift kit on our 2016 Jeep Wrangler, added a three and a half inch lift, really make it ready for the trails. But we decided that we also wanted to replace the factory front plastic bumper. So we're looking at today this Rugged Ridge XHD front modular bumper with overrider hoop, standard ends, and the D-rings. This bumper features a recessed winch mount with an overrider bar to protect your winch and your grill. It includes standard length bumper ends, which will give you great tire clearance and also protect your front end. Also included is a pair of bolt-on D-rings, which will help you in tough recovery situations. This bumper features heavy-duty steel construction with a textured black powder coat finish. We're going to install it today on our 2016 Jeep Wrangler. Tools needed for this installation, half-inch socket, 18-millimeter socket, 3-8-inch ratchet, 3-quarter-inch socket, 19-millimeter socket, 1-inch socket, half-inch ratchet, Phillips head screwdriver, 10-millimeter box wrench, 13 millimeter box wrench, 14 millimeter box wrench, one inch box wrench, a trim removal tool, a marker, tape measure, a drill, 5 16 inch drill bit, and safety glasses. So we put the Jeep up here on the lift just for video purposes. We're gonna go ahead and get started removing the factory plastic front bumper by removing the four bumper bolts right up here in the front. All right, so we're gonna get this plastic filler plate out of the way with a Phillips head screwdriver. All right, so now we're gonna start removing the two outside bolts. Now there's a pair of nuts on the inside of each frame rail. They're pretty hard to get to and really hard to see, but we're gonna Get them off right now. Before we remove the bumper, gonna make sure to disconnect your factory fog lights. All right, so we've got the eight bolts removed and also our wiring. We're gonna remove our front bumper. All right, so now we're going to remove our fog lights. Now in our case, we do have aftermarket fog lights, but the process will be the same if you do have the factory fog lights. All right, now we're going to reinstall our fog lights into our Rugged Ridge bumper. All right, so we've got the fog lights installed. Now, while we have the bumper off the Jeep, we're going to install these stubby end caps included by removing these three bolts and the plate. All right, now with the plate removed, we can install the stubby end cap into the three holes. All right, now we're gonna tighten them up. Now we're going to install the overrider hoop on top of the bumper. We're gonna make sure the angle is facing towards the Jeep. In our case, this would be the Jeep here. So make it facing the Jeep. And we're gonna leave all of them loose until we get all eight bolts in, then we'll tighten them all up. All right, once these are all in, you can tighten them all down. Now, before we install the Rugged Ridge bumper, we have to remove the factory vacuum pump and modify the brackets in which it goes on to. Now we're gonna measure two inches from the end and cut off some of the factory mounting location. All 
Right. Now we're going to relocate the factory vacuum pump using the included brackets. All right, now we're going to reinstall the vacuum pump onto the provided bracket. Now we're going to put the other bracket on. All right, now we're going to drill out this hole on the front cross member. Now we can tighten everything down. All right, now we're going to mock up the front bumper. We already have the D-rings installed, make it a little bit easier for us. All right, now that everything's positioned, we're going to go ahead and tighten it down. All right, now we're going to put the shackles into the mounts. We're going to come back and tighten these up then later. All right, lastly, we're going to reconnect the fog lights. And your installation is complete. All right, so the installation of the Rugged Ridge XHD modular bumper is complete. Really changed the look of the Jeep. I'm loving the aggressive look of it. Installation's pretty simple. Should take you about two to three hours. It might help you to have an extra pair of hands. And I'll see you out on the trails.